<laughs> My name is John, and at Streams Ministries, we often get asked about what different elements might mean in dreams. What about hair? I mean, hair. What could hair mean? Now, let's think about some biblical stories. We, we can go to one biblical story, probably a, the famous one when you're thinking about hair, is Samson. Samson's hair represented his anointing. Now, it represented his anointing for something very specifically in him because he was a Nazarite. And when the angel had come to his mom, told him, make sure that nobody ever cuts his hair. Part of the Nazarite vow is you're not allowed to cut your hair. You start the Nazarite vow with a shaved head, and then you don't cut your hair again until your time, that time period was over. So Samson, his was for life. He was consecrated as long as his hair remained long. So when his hair got cut, he lost his anointing. So hair can talk about consecration or it can talk about anointing. You want to take a look. It could be talking about how you're perceived or the way that you look. If you get a different haircut or a different hairstyle, you look completely different. You can look like a different person. So it could be talking about a change that is coming to the way that you interact or the way that people see you or perceive you. Sometimes hair can talk about wisdom. It can talk about length of hair, could talk about how long something is gone, which could talk about wisdom because length and time will often, excuse me, relate to wisdom scripturally. So getting your hair cut could be having your wisdom cut short, or it could just be that there's a, a, a new a change that's coming, that there's some things that needed to be trimmed up so that your wisdom is, is better presentable to others. What's the context? So paying attention to context is really, really key. Now, what about if your hair gets colored? Well, colors, you want to pay attention to what color your hair gets colored because it could be the color that has meaning. Uh, if I have hair, now I don't have red hair. I've got brown hair, light brown hair, dark brown hair, changes slightly, but it's definitely not red. If my hair was red, red would have a particular meaning. If I look at my hair in a dream and it looks like it normally does, it means absolutely nothing. But red can talk about wisdom, could talk about anointing, White could talk about age or maturity, gray hair. You keep on finding gray hair. Maybe you're finding the signs of maturity in your life. Now, to the negative, that could be signs of weakness, that your, your, your strength is waning and, 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 and you're getting older. So it could, could be a negative, but it could be a positive. What's the feeling of the dream? You know, if it's yellow and your hair is not normally yellow, could it be about hope or, or something else? So take a look at the color and what that color might mean, because that'll give you a clue as to what that would mean in your dream. So hair, that's an interesting dream moment. <laughs>